cold. That'll keep the trees from getting damaged. Autumn in New Hampshire. Fall colors, crisp air, apple picking. Tasting is a critical part of the experience. But there's a dark side to this picturesque perfection. Just as you walked in the door, we had a call down to Max Apple for uh, another theft of a whole bunch of apples from the orchard. It's pretty prevalent. I mean, it's not just our orchard. Agricultural theft isn't new, but it seems to be growing. What's also growing? The frustration among farmers. Put them in the stroller and put them in the back pack and and you know come walking right by us that's the rough pot that's stealing probably five to ten arrests every single September and October if not more every year and that's just in Londonderry Sanberton police posted these surveillance photos in late September calling farm stand theft a quote ongoing problem Lavallee's farm in Pembroke had hundreds of ears of corn swiped a few weeks ago as well. Do you guys find anything, everything all right? At Applecrest Farm in Hampton Falls, the owner says often the thieves are well organized and related. Grandma, grandpa, bunch of kids, the aunts and uncles, um, you know, there's probably a dozen of them. And they were, they were very organized in the way that they were. They bought a few half bushel bags. Wagner says they spent the day shuttling bags of apples to their car. When I finally caught them, they had five 55 gallon trash bags, just about an entirely full minivan full of stolen fruit. We had um, the entire trunk of our Mercedes Benz full size, SU, uh, full size sedan full of apples. Farmers warn each other about organized orchard operations using cell phones to snap photos of suspects who they say hide up in the trees and then run to their cars to make a getaway. So you feel like this is organized? Oh, we know it's organized. London Dairy investigators say most of the alleged thieves they arrest are from the Boston area and? During that booking process, the suspects reveal that their nationality is usually Chinese or Japanese. The farmers in Loudoun say they have all types of apple absconders, but the organized group who climb up in the trees often indicate they don't speak English. Some farms are now hiring security to patrol the parking lot on busy weekends and installing surveillance cameras and signs. You'll notice here that this is a green handle yep. and we have a brown gusset and that's our Wednesday bag. Color coding helps employees see if thrifty customers are reusing bags from previous visits to avoid paying. The creativity is both impressive and disheartening. Because we, everyone sees so many apples hanging on the trees, they don't see it as a crime. Some farmers were hesitant to talk about the thefts that cost them thousands of dollars every year because they don't want to spoil the fun family ambiance that every farm strives to create. In short, they say, tasting is fine. We encourage the public to try them. How can you know what all 50 tastes like? Here in New Hampshire, produce theft is a Class A misdemeanor punishable by one year in jail and $1,200 in fines. But in recent years, other states like Rhode Island are taking a cue from California and Hawaii, making it a felony crime to steal from a farmer if the wholesale value exceeds $250. Amy Cavino, WMUR News 9.